In this learning bite for Windows Small Business Server 2011 standard, we'll take a look at connecting your SBS server to the internet. This is one of the very first getting started tasks that you'll perform after SBS has been deployed into your environment. Let's go ahead and start the connect to the internet wizard. As with all of the SBS wizards, we have a before you begin page which gives you a brief description of the tasks that the wizard is going to perform. We also have a link to additional information where you can learn more about the process. Let's go ahead and click Next to begin the wizard. The first thing the wizard will do is query your network, trying to find the router and your IP address. It will scan the private IP address networks looking for your router. Once your router is detected, the wizard will populate the router IP address and also the server IP address. You have the option of changing the IP addresses at this point if you desire. At this point, the wizard will attempt to configure your router if it supports universal plug and play. You can also choose to manually configure your router. Once the wizard completes, it is verified that it is able to communicate with the internet and the proper protocols are configured so that email and remote web access are available to your users through the public internet. If you experience networking issues in the future, you can also run the Fix My Network wizard, which is available on the Network tab of the SBS console, on the Connectivity sub-tab. In the list of connectivity tasks, we can find the Fix My Network wizard. Again, we have an introduction screen that explains what the wizard does and also a link to additional information. Most common problems can be solved by running this wizard. Several of the same tasks that you'll find in the Connect to the Internet wizard are performed, and additional checks are also made to verify connectivity and proper configuration of the SBS environment. For most small business environments, SBS makes it very easy to configure your network as well as your SBS server to get it up and running and connected to the internet. Thank you for watching this Learning Byte video, and I hope you join us for future Learning Byte sessions.